Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara, and this is a flip through and review of Coloring Heaven Collection Magazine, issue number, I don't think they have issue numbers, Australia, 48 designs by artists from around the world. Yes, it does, issue 14. So, the uh, front and the back covers are matte and completely colorable. Has a nice red foiled name. The inside front cover has information about the magazine. Uh, part of the proceeds from this magazine go to the uh, uh, the Aussie Ark Wildfire Fund. And then it tells us the artists that are in here and we have social media for Coloring Heaven magazine. And then the pictures start right away and we'll have a look at them. I'm not going to turn the book sideways. So we have sort of a Millie Murata type of picture where the uh, koala head is made up of flowers and leaves. And this is by Samuel J. Art, and he also brings us this turtle. Then Cami Ledbetter. Some of the pictures in here actually represent the uh, fire and others are just Australian in theme. Then we have Christine Karen. And this is adorable. I love that. Then we have Chintaka Harath. And then we have Selena Fennec and she does a large section in here. And these pictures are obviously from her from her Australia book that she uh, published a few a few books ago, and uh, it tells us what each animal is here. It doesn't tell us what the what the uh, flowers are though. If you get her book, um, it tells you both the animal and the flower. So there's quite a few pictures in here that are from that book of hers. Really, you probably don't need to get the book if you have this magazine. Kookaburra, I love those. Then we have Jash Lee. And this is an exclusive. I guess I haven't said whether the others were exclusives or not. And another one from him. These are titled as well. This is Mother Nature. It's an exclusive. This one, Rest in Peace. That's quite sad. Another one, exclusive. Very nice. Then we have Jennifer Zimmerman with Mademoiselle Malachite. I believe that's a gem, Malachite. Malice, yeah, Malachite. Okay, I d can't quite read this name. Katsiarina Pleshakova. And that is going, that seems uncolorable to me. Unless you just ignore the patterns and color in the items in block colors. Then we have Kanoko Igusa. This is an exclusive. It's very nice. I have a hard time coloring words though. Then we have Micah Jelena. Uh, Nelik Shoemaker. A 
two from her. These are all titled as well. This is Mother Nature. This is Wildfire. Doesn't say these are exclusives, but I wouldn't see where else she would have published that. Oh, I guess it wasn't an exclusive because this one does say it is. This one's called Climate Change, and this is an exclusive. This one is an exclusive. And so is this one. Though I'm pretty sure she gave this away as a freebie a couple of months ago because, or last month, because, or no, a few months ago now, because I remember seeing people color this, or at least something similar to it. This is an exclusive. So quite a lot by her. So it was a good portion of the book done by Malik Shoemaker and Selena Fennick. Okay, now we come to, to some Aboriginal art. And this is by Andre Kozakin and Honey Debney Sukoya. Sukoya. And I think these are quite neat. They all seem to be like a variation on a theme. Cheryl LaFond. Now that's someone I haven't heard of. This is an exclusive. So is this. That's lovely. This is an exclusive. And this one. Then we come to Ruby Charm Colors. Quite exciting to see her making, making it into this magazine. Then we have Kelly O'Gorman. This is an exclusive. It's called Phoenix. Then we have Ellie Marks with an exclusive. Hannah Lynn. This is her Aussie girl. And finally, nope, not finally, we have Monia Gates. And this is an exclusive by her. And that's the end of the book. We have an advertisement for the Discovery Club. So once again, this is Coloring Heaven Collection Magazine, issue 14, Australia.